Hello everyone, Dragonfly here in DCS World in the Aviate B Harrier. I'm going to do a, uh, another mission fly through. Today I wanted to drop some uh, iron bombs, so I'm going to fly another cast mission that we've previously flown. And I'll show you that one here real quick on the uh, mission brief. You always have to have a mission brief. Secure the uh, Pody oil refinery. Intercepted enemy radio communications include uh, or indicate uh, Russian commanders are intending to use mercenaries to capture an important oil refinery just south of the Rioni River near Pody. A small contingent of U.S. Special Forces has been inserted in the area to keep the oil refinery secure. However, they're no match for the larger enemy force, which includes two main battle tanks, two APCs, and uh, infantry and mortars. Contact Warhorse, the Tactical Air Control Center, on COM-1, Channel 291, for mission update prior to takeoff. Okay, well, what I've done is I've already loaded up with uh, four Mark 82s, uh, straight iron bombs, uh, two CBU actually two rock eyes mark 20 uh, rock eyes and a gun with armor piercing rounds so let's contact warhorse on 291 and get their update dragonfly warhorse i'll copy a uav airborne uh, forward air controller monitoring the green line has spotted unusual enemy activity a few miles north of the Pody oil refinery. Contact the Predator AFAC call sign Pontiac once airborne on frequency 292 for further updates. And we'll do a, we have already done a loadout for troops and armor. Okay, I've already done all the pre flight. I have not set up the weapon, so let's check our weapon load, make sure that looks good. So go into the stores page here, and the Mark 20s, that's the Rock Eyes. Uh, I'm going to drop both of them at the same time. And so I'll put the quantity at two, and we'll drop them CIP, and I'll use an interval of 20 feet. Now for the Mark 82s, I just plan on dropping them CIP one at a time. And, uh, We'll go back to the EHSD. And what we're going to do is we're going to take off and then we'll go out here past the lake here a little bit in uh, orbit and contact uh, the uh, AFAC and see what's going on in this situation. So let's do a before takeoff check. The uh, nose, the uh, trim is at uh, two degrees nose down. Flaps are at STO. We have the uh, nozzle stop set at 60 degrees. The nozzles are at uh, 10 degrees. All righty. Let's get the water on to take off. Get the uh, parking brake Perfect. off. And get airborne. 90% and release the brake, smoothly bringing the power up. Nozzles back, which is had up into the pitch carrot, and nozzles forward at least to about 30 degrees. Gear up, water off, flaps up into auto, nozzles up all the way, and we'll do a slight turn here and continue our climb bringing the power back to climb power, which is mill power at 100%. Okay, while we're climbing out here, let's just go ahead and contact the AFAC on 292. Incoming message. The Stryker Quick Reaction Force is en route to the Pody Oil Refinery to counter enemy armor marshalling north of the area, but uh, they're currently pinned down in Pody by some mortar fire. Stand by for the nine line information to attack the enemy mortar battery. And we need to contact them on the DCS menu. So let's do that. And the F9 menu, JTAC. Before I do that, let me get myself set up here with uh, just starting into a 
little bit of a left hand orbit. I'm going to continue to climb up to about 7,000 feet. Check Pontiac, in for 15 one, minutes. One. This is Dodge 111. Golf, Golf 2, 6, 6, 3, and 6,000. Armed with Mark 20, Mark 82. Flight time is 0 plus 15. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? Bring the power back a little bit. We don't need to be using gas. Dodge, one, one. This is Pontiac, one, one. Type two in effect. Advise and ready for nine line. All right, ready, ready to, to copy. copy the nine line. Line is as follows. One, two, three, NA. Sixteen, feet, MSL. Artillery, column. Golf, golf, two, five, five, two, seven, five, nine, seven. Mark by laser. One, six, eight, eight. Southeast, twenty. Egress east. Advisor ready for remarks and further talk on. Alright, we'll get set up and then we'll contact him, recontact him. Uh, we're going to put the laser code in, so sensor select uh, switch back. 1688. Enter. And now with the flashing message light, we'll go into the cast page and see what's in the automatic target handling system the nine line he just gave us. Three units in a column in a field. Alrighty, we'll use that. Hit the use button. The up front controller comes alive. I'm just going to use it as target five, just to do something different. Enter. And you see it comes up as T5. I'm going to come off of the data page, which goes back into the waypoint menu. So to get back to the target points, long press the waypoint increment button. Hit the target point menu, 5, enter. And it brings T5 back up. We'll select that on the waypoints. It's 0, 1, 3, and 13. Okay, we've got ourselves a little above the cloud deck here. Let's get back down. Okay, so since we have that information in, I'll come back onto the uh, laser tracker since uh, we will we'll be using that, and we'll tell him we're ready to copy. Ready to copy remarks. Use Mark 20. Okay, Mark 20. So let's select the Mark 20. Master arm on. Air to ground on the HUD. Mark 20s. I'm going to use a primary fuse CIP. We're dropping them both. Uh, multiple of one. 20 feet of increment, of uh, interval. Okay, let's start turning up towards our target point. Read, read back our information. Golf, golf, two, five, five, two, seven, five, nine, seven. Read back correct. Report IP inbound. Okay, we are just at IP Dodge, inbound. Dodge, one, one. IP inbound. Dodge, one, one. Continue. Okay, let's have him turn the laser Dodge, on and get one, a lock. Dodge, one, one. Laser on. Laser on. Blazing. We got a lock. So let's call spot. Dodge, if we don't call one, spot, one, spot and call in, we won't get a cleared hot command. So I gotta call in Dodge, also. One, one. In from the south. Dodge one one. Cleared hot. Cleared hot. Let's bring the power up. And hopefully he won't abort our attack. Which usually if he says cleared hot, he won't do that. Okay. I just caught a glimpse of some heat signatures, the V's. Start heading down here. Let's see if we can catch those. Do about a 15 or a 20 degree bomb angle. There's a good heat beam. Let the uh, solid dash line come down to the cross. Cross. Pickle. Climb. Turn out. Six and watch the bombs.
that looks like a pretty good hit. Turn back to the south, get back behind the green line before anybody gets upset. Incoming message. Dragonfly Pontiac and enemy armor column is advancing towards the Podia refinery on the main north-south highway, two clicks north of the Rioni River Bridge. Looks like two T-72s, two APCs. Stand by for possible strike authorization if they penetrate the green line. Okay, well, looks like we're going to have to loiter around the area for a minute while we see if, how the situation develops. So I'll stay here at 7,000 feet, pull the power back, and we'll just do some figure eights up here until uh, the AFAC releases us or needs us. So let's go ahead and select the Mark 82s because they will work against armor, if you, but you have to hit them right on. And we'll fuse them instantaneous. And check down here, CIP instantaneous, one at a time. And if we look back over to our area, there's a bridge. The only bridge uh, going into Pody is there's three bridges right here. So that armor column would have to cross the river on one of those bridges. So we'll kind of monitor those bridges. Just that head tracker. Put the altitude hold on while I'm looking out here. Okay. We're not going to be able to see anything this far away, so we're just going to have to rely on what the AFAC tells us. Pretty much if they cross the green line, that's pretty much just north of the bridge there. Caution, caution. It's the autopilot coming off. Caution, caution. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. We don't need to be quite that slow. At 250 to 300 knots would be optimal. see any flashes, don't see any firing going on over in that area. Incoming message. Dragonfly Pontiac Red Armor has violated the green line clear to engage. Alrighty. So let's start heading over that way. Power up. Autopilot off. Keep an eye on the bridge. Hopefully, we can get a heat signature off of uh, in something north of uh, the green line because uh, we do have troops on the uh, oil refinery as well as that uh, striker QRF that's supposed to be coming into the area. like I actually see vehicles on the bridge. That's probably our enemy force. So 
Let's turn. Line ourselves up. Put one right on the bridge. Maybe that'll make them scatter or slow them down. Oh, we actually got one of the BMPs. And I'm just simulating the AFAC would have told us that. So I go up uh, to about six, seven thousand feet, about three miles out, and then turn back in. I crank my head around here so I can see. Okay, I see a smoke, smoke plume where we. Uh, Hit the first vehicle. Looks like they have scattered there to the uh, south. Six. We're in a delaying action right now. We're trying to keep them pinned down until those strikers get there. Turn back around, try another strike, another uh, drop. after that front vehicle. Now where'd it go? Oh, not, a, not a good lineup. I'll break off of that. Got myself going a little bit too fast. This is the one I want. About a 30 degree angle. Six. Incoming message. Dragonfly Pontiac, Red Armor is retreating. Good work, no further tasking. Uh, well, we're still going to stay and have a little bit more fun. I don't want to go back to it yet when I still have a, some ordnance. Obviously, you couldn't do that in real life. But. Always have to play by the rules. And but in DCS, you don't have to. Okay, let's see if I can find anything else. Actually, it looks like the strikers may have taken out the rest of them. So I see one, two, three burning hawks. And then uh, the spot on the bridge that we hit. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to go over the lake and drop that last iron bomb. And then head home. I want to try to land a Harrier asymmetrically. So let's jettison that bomb. Master arm off, V stall, tack in. V rest, vertical landing, and we're below landing weight. We're only six miles away at 117. Let's come over here a little bit. Go down to about 800 feet, slow to 350. for the farm. Looks like there it is. A little low and a little fast. We'll do an overhead and I'm going to try to do a short landing. To me they're harder than uh, the vertical landings. Is the uh, nose wheel steering is just so sensitive. Or my rudder pedals are one in the brake. Gear down. Landing water on. Flaps all the way down. Nozzles 60 degrees. Power to control altitude and bring the witch's hat up to control speed up to the horizon and start slowing down. About 600 feet is what I want. Of course, the terrain here is sloping. Okay. On this particular farm, that river works real good to start a final turnover. the nozzles to 75 degrees and I'll try to land less than 60 knots. Gotta get lined up exactly on that road. Add up to slow down a little bit more. Altitude, 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 altitude. Eh, a little in the grass there where I shouldn't be. Successful landing. And let's see here. 100% results on the mission. 16 vehicles were killed. It looks like we got 14 of them. So the uh, strikers uh, probably killed those last two uh, pieces of armor. Okay, well, that concludes. This replay of uh, actually a uh, rerun of a replay of uh, the Pody Oil Refinery mission. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon. Everybody have a good day and we'll talk to you later. Dragonfly out.